Good morning, fans Privateer FX. Coming at you 28 March here, Thursday. Two days to go before month end and quarter end. There will be some tomfoolery at the fix today for quarter end rebalancing. I don't have a great feel for what's going to happen there. Uh, as soon as I get the gossip, I'll check it up on Twitter. Uh, but so for now, we'll just ignore uh, that elephant in the room and talk about a couple of things. DXY chart, um, 97 is providing resistance here. I don't really care about 97 as much. What I do care about is 97.75. This is massively important. Uh, and this is basically a euro dollar trade. 111.75 will have to be breaking if this if this happens. So we need to keep an eye on this. It's still a percent away. Um, I don't often follow the DXY chart, but I just want to mention this. 97.75 is a massive level uh, for the dollar index. Take a look at crude. Got up to 22, 60, 22 yesterday. Now back down 59.16. We still think the double to hop is in place. Uh, the neckline is 58.16. So if you're short up at 60, you need to add at 58.16. I know that's going to be awkward for a lot of you guys, but this is um, this is what we're suggesting. Um, this will be the neckline of the double top, 58.16, maybe through 58 the figure. A very important level now, 58.16 in crude. Euro didn't do much overnight, 45.55 really, so not much there. Sterling dropped to 42 on some silly Brexit bullshit. Um, May said she'll resign, blah, blah, blah stupid. Uh, Dollar Swiss, this again goes to DXY. There's some clear air now above 99.70. I don't know why anyone would be buying Dollar Swiss in this risk off uh, time unless Euro Dollar just, you know, shits the bed. But just as a chart point, uh, 99.70 is interesting. Dollars are um, smoked. I think we used the word eviscerated yesterday. There's more to go on this. Um, this is going to break probably 70 today. Dollar EM is, is really going to suffer in this um, higher dollar risk off uh, environment. Let's watch 1471. Perhaps a touch up there and then a break trade. I don't know. Uh, a little bit behind the curve on the rand. I've been focusing so much on yen crosses recently, but no reason dollar dollars are uh, <coughs> no reason dollars are is going to turn. Um, for macro reasons, I've listed a million times, but also now just the environment of risk off is just so embedded here this week. Uh, watch out for dollars are higher. Dollar yen doesn't really get super interesting until 109.70 breaks. We're lower tonight in Asia just because rates are lower. Uh, not much to see there. Euro yen on the other hand, um, a lot to see. Uh, we squared up our Euro yen yesterday at 124.11. But um, i tell you what, uh, there's going to be lots of interest to sell this between 123.80 and 123.50 on a stop loss basis. So this should gravitate lower still. Uh, we are expecting actually sort of a big red bar, uh, maybe today or maybe tomorrow. It really goes into free fall below 123.41. But what I would suggest is going to happen is we break 80, we touch 40, we bounce back up to 85, and then we break 40 on Friday. Um, the secret to boons, uh, the secret to euro yen is boons. Uh, obviously, one one sixty six sixty six yield is like minus eight basis points. Let's take a quick look at that yield. 
yeah, minus 7.7 .7 basis points. Patently insane. I have no idea what's going on. We cut our medium term rates, European rates position yesterday for, for a loss. Um, this doesn't make sense to me, but now it doesn't matter. Uh, just We're just trading price now. And as long as boons are hanging up here and are distinctly negative, Urien has to go lower. Aussie, got to be careful today. <clears throat> we got uh, Trump and his gang of um, gargoyles uh, in China. So we expect some positive news flow from them. Whether it's true or not, doesn't really matter. Um, Aussie can can jump a little bit on positive news flow from um, the politicians, the U.S. politicians and trade representatives in China. Be careful of that. We we would say fade every rally in Aussie, but core short Aussie today and tomorrow it doesn't make a ton of sense. If we were to get negative news, uh, you would want you want to smash it through the lows through 70.65. So this is really a news trade today. Uh, it's cousin Kiwi, the bird that cannot fly, is a sell. Uh, we talked about this 30 level yesterday. Uh, it's a gentle fade. This will also get a kick higher with good trade news, less than the Aussie, but it will. But a gentle fade around 30, between 30 and 50, seems uh, seems like a good strategy for today. Again, this. Uh, 67, 65, we're looking for a bounce here, first time, uh, but this should continue lower. This is the 200 day, 67, 35, also will provide initial support, but we do expect this to break in the coming days. So, what can I say, your yen again is our focus um, on the short side. Um, I guess we should throw up the S&Ps. 2803 looked real negative down there at uh, 2794 but the next big sort of moment in this stuff is a break of 2790 um, there should be a cascade of stops below there and a daily close below that should yield a move down to 2700 once we're down to 2700 we just have to take a look around we've got Chinese data this weekend we obviously have the U.S. trade Muppets going to say some positive things, no doubt. And we also have the potential that Brexit could be solved. These are all positives for risk. Um, and you got to stir that into the soup with your position sizing and your flexibility on this trade. But we do like core short ES. Um, we've been beating this drum now for the last week. We continue to beat it. If you're one of, if your tactical book uh, needs to sell, you're probably selling sort of between 08 and 16 today, uh, and then today is kind of the type of day where you can add. Unusually, you can add today through the lows, so you can treat 27.90 as a break trade. All right, I've said enough. Uh, focusing on Euro Yen, core short stocks, core short Kiwi. Uh, Kiwi is a tradable short just because of this uh, potential or I would say inevitable news flow out of China. With that, I wish you all good luck and lots of profits. Catch you tomorrow. Ciao.